Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Billy with Presenter Media here, and today we're going to talk about animations, specifically GIF animations. We offer quite a few on our website, presentermedia.com, but what I'm talking about today really applies to any type of GIF animation you might come across. So let's dive right in. Up on the screen, you can see that I have just one of our basic GIFs. Nothing special about it. It's not one of our customization ones or anything like that. Just two guys putting together an idea. Uh, in our customizer, we give you a couple different options. If you notice down here at the bottom of the screen, we have a couple different options with our customizer. You can change a lot with the way it looks, with color, and also you can take their shadow and reflection. But that's, that's more of uh, advanced features that we offer. Uh, really what we're going to talk about is this little area right here. So we offer three different three different models here, a uh, GIF, a Move, and a, a Swift file, which is your Flash file. The Swift and the Move file, I, you can't get a clear background on. You have to choose a colored background. But with the GIF, we can get a clear background. So a couple things to keep in mind when you're, when you're thinking about your presentation and what you're gonna overall do with it and what, what kind of graphics you need for it, animations, clip art, um, videos, whatever you need to it is, do you need a clear background or not? Uh, really, if you're gonna use a solid background color, the best thing with a GIF is to actually select a certain color that you might need, whatever color the background is, and go with that. And the reason being is if you collect, if you if you select a clear background, I'll, we'll, we'll get into it here in a minute. You'll see some jaggedy line, jagged lines. And actually, let's start going. What I'm going to first do is we're going to start, I'm going to get one customization. So I'm just going to customize it. And we're going to grab, uh, red is my favorite color. We're going to go a little bit darker. Red, we'll go with right about there. And I'm actually going to copy this. Control C, copy that. And I'm going to open up a, uh, um, notepad here and we're going to paste that in there just for future reference here so we so I'm gonna hit OK and now I'm gonna hit this customize button one thing to notice uh, just to keep in mind when you're working with our presenter media customizer is that when you are customizing an item you have to use this button right here you select which file what type you want in this one if you want to get it customized and you select one of these you won't get the customized version it'll download the original version that you saw so I'm gonna hit this one really quick just to get that going through our customizer because that can take take a little bit of time, nothing major, but we don't wanna sit here and wait for it. So there it goes, it's actually gonna take eight seconds, but we'll get that out of the My Media here lit in a little bit. So for this one, I'm actually gonna go with a clear background to start out with, or sorry, clear background to go out, come out, start off with, and then I'm gonna download the largest one. I'll go ahead and get that going. And I'm actually gonna open up, it looks like I don't have PowerPoint opened up yet. So let's get it going. How, oops, PowerPoint. We're gonna work with 2013 today, nothing different. This is not, not a advanced one, so we shouldn't need anything within 2016 at all. So here we go. Um, I, I usually like to, I like to delete my boxes to start off with. That's just a preference that I have. I'm in a 16 by nine ratio. So one way we can get this into our presentation is going up here to insert, and it's not a video. I went over here, but it's not a video. It is actually considered an image or a picture. So we're gonna hit that, and then we're gonna go to our downloads folder. And I'm using uh, Chrome, uh, 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 Google Chrome for my browser of choice. So the download bar below is, is where you can see where the download is happening, and then it automatically downloads into your downloads folder. Now, if you've set that up differently, then you're gonna have to browse to your specific folder that you download to. But I'm just gonna stick with this one right here, and that's the one I want, and insert it. And there you go. So you can notice right here how this has some jaggedy lines right here. That is because if I change the color right here, let's go with the blue. If I change the color, I'm gonna show the slideshow here. The color is able to see through because it's a clear GIF. But with GIFs and the way that they're processed, they are a lower file size because they're meant for web. And so that gives you uh, what's called a little bit of aliasing going on, which this is a lot, obviously. And really, there's not much you can do about it when it comes to this type of stuff. You kind of got to pick and choose. You kind of got to see if it fits with your stuff or not. Um, 
So that's why, like here, since this is a, a, a solid background, here, let's go here. Let's do a new slide. And actually, we're gonna delete this stuff here. And I'm going to format background, and I'm gonna take that 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 number that I had before. More colors and custom. Oh shoot, that's right. We can't. You can't do an RGB, or you can't do a hex value, but we can do this. Let me show you a little something. So if you've done that before, you can go to My Media. And it's going to be the first one right here. We're going to go, I'm just going to download it really quick since I'm here. But then I'm going to go to Redo. And that color, oh, it looks like I have to actually redo it because I, I hit Clear Background. Even though I changed the color, I hit Clear Back. So I'm going to hit No, which is going to, this color is still going to be applied. If I just move it, there we go. And I'm actually going to bring up my notepad here again and copy down those numbers just really quick. Bear with me here. Oh, that should be easy to do. All right, and hit OK and customize item. And then we're going to wait. It's probably going to be another 10 seconds. We'll wait for it. Let's go back here to our PowerPoint and just change this really quick. I think it was what? 142, 34, 34. Okay, that's the exact same color that I used. So we're gonna come back here, we're gonna download it. Show you another, now you already can tell on this image right here that this is way better looking without all the, crap, the crappy lines or anything like that. So I'm actually gonna do this a different way here. I'm gonna go back to my file explorer, downloads, and it's this one right here. If you don't, if you already have your, expi your file explorer window open in your downloads folder, you can go ahead and hit control R and that will refresh the window, bringing that to the top. And I'm also sorted by date here. And how that works is dates, um, all your, your, your explorer sorts everything by folders and then by files. So this is right here, I'm just gonna drag it in here. And I am gonna hit, your, hit the slideshow button here and there's that one, and there's that one. Way better looking, in my opinion. Uh, you know, really, if you're gonna be using a gradient or a pattern background or something along, along those lines, you wanna go with, with the clear background. But right now, I like to stick with solid backgrounds. I think they look cleaner, and if I do do a gradient, I try to not do the whole thing so that I have a solid area and maybe that'll be one of the maybe I can do a tutorial on that in the future on working with that type of stuff so and that's it that that's the basics of working with gifs and getting them into your PowerPoint presentation they're not automatically gonna play in when you're when you're creating your your PowerPoint so don't be freaked out if it doesn't automatically play when you drag it and drop it you actually have to go inside of the PowerPoint uh, you have to actually start the slideshow so, show, excuse me, to get it started. So if I hit F5, it'll start playing. Uh, couple, there's a couple other ways you can actually get it imported to. If you didn't know, you can hit this little box right here. Sorry, pictures. It's not a video. Hit it right there, and it'll actually go to that size of that box. And another way is another drag and drop method. If you use Chrome or Firefox, you can actually open up your browser, drag it a little bit, and then bring it down here and drag it into your, your PowerPoint slides. So you can format these as well, same thing. It's, it's gonna do, you can do colors, change the colors of it if you really want to. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below, whether it's on YouTube or our blog. You can contact us on facebook.com or leave a comment on the post that it's there. Uh, it's facebook.com slash presentermedia. You can also contact us on our webpage or support form or just email us at support at presentermedia.com. Thanks and have a great day.